Hello everyone and welcome to day 27 of our Love Month Challenge. We're almost at the end here. I just came in from walking my dog so I'm still bundled up and still a little bit cold. My nose is running and all that good stuff. I never ever really wanted to be living in cold weather and yet here I am back here again. The reason I left and moved to Arizona was because I was thinking one day, I'm like, why am I sitting here living in this cold when I don't like it, when I can go live somewhere else? And I prayed and I closed my eyes and then touched you know, spot on the map and ended up in Tucson, Arizona. And I, when I prayed, I just said, Lord, bless me to find somewhere that's warm and somewhere that has a graduate school. And I ended up in the right place. There was a lot of good things happened there, even though it didn't end so great. But then again, I had victory and restoration just last year back in Arizona. So, you know, God works all things together for my good. Um, today's scripture reference is Second Chronicles 5-7. It's one of my favorites. I know I keep saying that, but the Bible is so good. I hope you love it as much as I do, if not more. And um, it says, I walk by faith and not by sight. And that is um, a wonderful life verse to have. If you don't have a life verse, if you don't have one verse that you meditate on and that you run to always and that you, you know, fall back on, that you can recommend to anyone at any time, something like that, then that's a great one to have. Because being in relationship with God, you definitely have to walk by faith and not by sight. You know, all of us are going through stuff, experiencing um you know, things in our lives, portions of our lives where we want breakthrough, where we need breakthrough, where we may feel stuck, confused, hurt, or whatever. And the only way we're going to get through that is having faith in Christ. You know, you, you're not going to be able to reach out for him unless you have faith and believe that he can rescue you. And then when you do, he's going to reach back for you. He promises. If you are really seeking after him with your heart, if you're trying to honor him, worship him, love him, get to know him. He will meet you where you are. And there's so many evidences of that in the Bible. You know, God meets every one of us where we are. He doesn't, you know, quip and qualm and say, oh, well, when they get a little bit better, you know, then I'll rescue them. Or when they do this, I'll rescue them. That's not how he works. If you need rescue right now, he'll give you rescue right now. If you need provision right now, he'll give you provision right now. You know, just keep building that relationship. Keep believing the word. Keep reading the word. Keep decreeing and declaring the worship, the 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 scriptures and worship, 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 just being in the presence of God. Like even if you are the most uneducated person there is being in the presence of God can give you more wisdom, you know, from the Holy Spirit and revelation than, you know, having multiple PhDs, but no faith. So don't ever think that, oh, well, you know, there's, there's anything like educationally wise that could stand in the way of you and God. God doesn't care about that. He made you. He knows what you need. He knows how you learn better than anybody else does. So he can give you everything that you need, absolutely everything that you need to know about the Bible and how to how to um, help you fall in love with the Word of God, which is actually Jesus. You'll come to love the Word of God when you really get revelation about it because you are actually reading and breathing Jesus just like Matthew 4 4 it was one of our scriptures from in the beginning we don't live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God and the reason for that is because Jesus it's all about him that's where the relationship starts you know you get introduced to Jesus and then you get introduced to the Father and then the Holy Spirit comes alive in your life and it's just amazing you know and they all have three different very different characters and they all do different things, serve different purposes in your life, and it's really awesome. Um, I recorded a podcast on Praying with Power and Purpose that you might want to listen to. It's called The Voice of Truth, and it just um, talks about, you know, you're constantly going to be hearing all kind of voices, but you want to be sure that you are listening for that voice of truth because the voice of truth is going to lead you into everything that you need to be successful in life, to be healed in life, to be healthy, happy, whole, all of that. Um... I don't really have a whole lot to say because I wrote the email before I recorded the video for you guys today. So uh, most of the things that I wanted to communicate to you are in the email. It, it was really interesting. I'm sitting there typing, getting ready to start your email, and then I hear the words, the favor of the Lord come from the left. And I'm like, wow, yes, I want definitely want the favor of the Lord. And then I start thinking about all the different ways that the favor of the Lord can bless you. You know, and then I remember that scripture that I recorded there in the um, in the email for you. So meditate on that. Think about that and let the Lord um, talk to you a little bit about that. Oh, I know something I can share with you. Um, Isaiah 41 verses, I don't remember. I'll have to look them up. And I'm not, I'm telling you in advance because it's already late tonight. I'm not going to um, put the information on the video because I'm just going to upload it and go to sleep. And you'll just have to get it like... You'll get it. 
but it'll just be uploaded in, you know, and I'm already done with my end of it. But, um, I mean, I'm going to set it to upload and give you the, schedule the email, and then you'll just be able to click on the link to get the, get to the video when you get to the email. Sorry about all the confusion. I'm super sleepy, and I'm going to enjoy going to sleep this evening. Um, Isaiah 41, and it's the part of it that says, They that wait upon the Lord will renew their strength. They'll rise upon um, wings like eagles. They'll walk and get weary, or walk and not get weary. They will run and not faint. I've come across the scripture five times in the last two days, so the Lord's telling me something about that. And I know part of what he's telling me about it is that he's turning me into an eagle. Because I used, I spent a lot of years being afraid of stuff. Like after you get harassed at work, you know, and everybody's constantly saying, oh, you're doing this wrong, you don't know what you're doing, da 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 And then if you receive that fear, because it goes on for so long, you start being afraid to say anything to anybody. And so I'm getting out of that. You know, and this month has been a huge blessing and opportunity for me to get out of that. And I thank you and I um, I honor you all for participating and allowing me to do that. That's that's huge that you, you actually helped me with breakthrough. You may not have realized it, but you have, you know, by encouraging me to keep going and not stop. So that's, you know, that means a lot to me. And it's also preparing me and teaching me and educating me for, you know, the next time around when I'm doing something with other people. So the Lord's been speaking, me, speaking to me about that, so I get to spend some time meditating and asking him what he wants to tell me about that. And um, it's so interesting, when I, I got my, um, my uh, I don't know what you call it, my contact information and stuff for the Billy Wong Dream Interpretation Group, and um, they made a like a, I don't even know what you call these things. I know there's a name for it, but my brain is not giving it to me right now. But there's a, um, they made me a special, um, I don't know what it is, but they made a, like a, a cover photo for it, and it has an eagle on one side and some apples on the other side, because I'm a teacher, and an eagle, and it's so interesting that, um, that that was one of the pictures, one of the two pictures that they chose for me, you know, for my training packet, you know, for my, like, they, for my graphic, because the Lord has been speaking to me about Isaiah 41, so that was really cool, and it's funny the way the Lord does that, you know, he will point you in the same direction of things for a while, for as long as it takes until you say, okay, Lord, you know, this is, this keeps coming up, what do you want to teach me about this, what do you want to show me, what do you want to explain to me, you know, so that I can move to the next level, so I'm excited to know what exactly he's saying about Isaiah 41 to me, it's going to be interesting. Maybe he'll tell me before tomorrow, and then I'll be able to let you guys know. I have a surprise for you tomorrow, so don't go away. All right. Don't forget 2 Corinthians. If I said Chronicles before, I apologize. 2 Corinthians 5, 7. I walk by faith, not by sight. Be a faith walker. That's how you get breakthrough. That's how you get miracles. That's how you get supernatural provision. That's how you get, you know, angelic visitations, heavenly visitations, all that good stuff. you got to walk by faith. you got to believe. you got to trust. All right. Bye-bye. God bless you. I love you.